airtime is the best time in the world. You get to go against gravity and you know fly through the air. No one gets to experience that. Soaring high above the Callahan Valley, time is at a standstill, watching, waiting to make the perfect landing. It's a crazy sport. You know, you get airtime, a lot of flying, which is really cool, and yeah, I just love it. Sliding onto the bar, Atsuko Tanaka looks out. Like an eagle perched on a treetop, she surveys her domain. Giving the jump a final inspection, she stands. Skis in the track, she begins to pick up speed. Racing down the ramp at roughly 90 kilometers an hour, it's only a split second before she lifts off and takes flight. You need to be relaxed in order to actually control your body in the air and have that good balance so that you're not like tilting on either side. Both the ladies' and men's teams spent a few final days at Whistler Olympic Park just before heading to the Olympics. At the age of 22, Tanaka is proudly representing Canada in Sochi, but she isn't the lone female. Her teammate and fellow Calgarian Taylor Henrich is proud to say she's an Olympian too. I'm 18 years old. I've been ski jumping since I was eight, so this makes it my 10th year. And heading to the Olympics in my 10th year is pretty cool. <laughs> Pretty cool indeed. After all, it's not only their Olympic debut, but the sports. 2014 marks the first year for women ski jumping during the Olympic Games. It's definitely something really exciting. You know, it's a first time for everybody in the sport. So I think it's a special moment for all of us, and I think we should all just be proud of ourselves that we made it this far. Working alongside their experienced coach, he too was excited to see women's ski jumping take flight nearly 90 years after men first jumped in Olympic competition. It brings a whole another level of excitement and, you know, it uh, makes you think why you do this. So it, it, it'll, be, it'll be fun and special for everyone. The fight to include women's ski jumping prior to the Vancouver Olympics went as far as the Supreme Court, only to have it rule against the athletes' appeal in 2009, but these jumpers never gave up. As a community of women's ski jumping, I feel like we just all got stronger and stronger as the years went by. There's a lot more further jumps and a lot more competitiveness within our results and you know, it shows so I think that's part of the reason why we got in and you know, now we get to prove to the world that we belong there. No matter the result during their Olympic debut, these women have already made history. Their goal now is to simply let go and just fly.